This is Off The Bench Jeopardy! Here are today's contestants, Jordi Collada, T-Bobby Bear, and Rivers Huey. And now here is the host of Jeopardy, Mr. Nick Ashton. What's happening everybody? So glad to be back here with Off The Bench Jeopardy. Today we got LSU sports legends, Louisiana history, and 2000s pop culture. All right, so Sam is our defending champion. So you go ahead and pick the category and the point number that uh, you want. I and mean, we're doing uh, mouth buzzers again. Yes. Yep. Which, by the way, I know I love to have a baby, but I beat Rivers in that buzz. Y'all heard the tape. Nobody uh, remembers what you're talking about. Go ahead. You, uh, thank you, Danny. Thank you. Uh, whatever, at least, Danny. At least yeah. we got somebody with some balls in here, Danny. <laughs> thank right. you. I beat her, and she was adamant that I did not Rivers. I hope you're listening right now. You, you, uh, you know. All right, you Sam. Know in your heart. Sam, what you got? Let's do 2000s pop culture 200. All right. right. And we're not looking at the screen, right? That's our deal? Yeah. Yep. All right. It, 200. In the 2000s, this company made the best-selling phone of all time. Yep. Who is Nokia? That is correct. Let's wow. go. What? How many LSU sports what? legends what? for 100? <laughs> I ain't playing around which, this week. Which Nokia was it? I ain't playing around Wait, this week. Wait, which Nokia was it? What do you mean? Oh, like the snake like really phone. Big. Yeah, the snake oh, phone. Oh, the block wow. phone. Wow, good call. Good How many call. points, Jordy? Uh, give me LSU. I mean, excuse me, uh, LSU Sports Legends for 100. Oh, man. Please. That wasn't even an LSU. This question. 2005 SEC Player of the Year in Basketball is still <laughs> playing. Uh, who is Brandon Bass? That is correct. LSU Sports Legends for 200, please. The full question was this 2005 <laughs> SEC Player of the Year in Basketball is still playing in China. Oh, shout out Brandon Bass. You wanted, you wanted 200, down, George? LSU Sports right. Legends for 200, please, Nick. <laughs> this Tiger's signature play is known simply as the catch. Bzz. Was Jordy? Yep. Who is Ray Wright? That is correct. What? LSU Sports Legends who, for 300, no, please. No, who is Ray Wright? Ray Wright That's is the starting person. right fielder for the 2000 <laughs> National Champion Baseball Team. Give me LSU Legends for oh 300, God. please. <laughs> this Pro Football Hall of Fame inductee was a two-time NFL champion who made the NFL's all-time teams for its 75th and 100th anniversaries. Bzz. Is that T-Bob? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, who is Tommy Casanova? That's not correct. <laughs> Who's Jim Taylor? That's, That's not correct. Oh, I, thought that was, I thought that was it for uh, sure. Yep. Is he from Louisiana? Uh, he's from like Cuba, I think. What? <laughs> yeah, Sam, that Sounds was not, like you're going to That wrong. was not what yeah. you were looking for. <laughs> yeah, right. That was not the answer you were hoping <laughs> for when you went down that road. I was just going to start naming every NFL player from Louisiana. Who is no. Steve Van Buren? Wow. Steve Van Buren went down there? Yeah. Jordan, we're going to keep it with yep. you. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm at negative um, 300. Yep. Can I be at zero? Um, you want? I'm at, zero. <laughs> I'm at plus 100. I, I, after all you've been through on this segment, I think you deserve <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, give me uh, back, to the, uh, back to the board here. All right, let's go. Where yeah, are we yeah. going? Uh, give me Louisiana history for 100. All right. All right. In any other part of the country, you'd call this a median. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Sam. That was Sam. Oh, my God. It just slipped my mind. Hey, come on, she's yeah. out. What is a neutral ground? That is correct. Let's Ugh. go. Give me Louisiana so history bad. for 200. Although a treaty had been signed to end the War of 1812, Andrew Jackson and company still fought this battle. <laughs> uh, what is the Battle of New Orleans? That is correct. Let's go there. Full uh, question was Andrew Jackson and company still fought this battle since the communication was so slow. Yeah, isn't that kind of funny? The treaty was already signed. I'd be so pissed if I died in the Battle of New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me Louisiana history for 300. All right. This town near Lafayette is known as the frog capital of the <laughs> world. Oh. That was Jordy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I kind of so. had flavor. Okay. I don't know. Do you want to, like, rock, paper, scissors? Do you think you had it? I kind of thought I had it. No, I had it. You Maybe she I was louder. It. Should we do a rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you got oh Sammy, Sammy. Sammy. All right, what you got? Rain, Louisiana. That is correct. Mm, let's answer in the form of a yeah, question. I don't know if she answered in the form what of a question. What is rain? Nokia. Excuse me? Okay. You said Nokia. What is Nokia? What is rain? All right, okay. Sam. Uh, Where is rain? 2000s pop culture, like 100 or 200? Um, you let's go. 300? Sure. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Massive accounting fraud led to the demise of this Houston-based. 
Enron. Yeah. What is Enron? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm taking it. I don't out. know. You right. started the rule. I am that not. That was your rule. I am not. That was your rule. I don't give a damn. That am. was your rule. The question was massive accounting fraud led to the demise of this Houston based company, which was considered America's most innovative company by Forbes. I, I mean, damn, I'm going to call I'm, Alex Trebek. Bro, I am not right. losing these points, okay? <laughs> I, 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 I have a little life all right, right all right, now. All right, all right, all right. Don't let it happen again. Because I'm coming up your ass. I agree. I agree. You're right. Just let me have this. Yeah, okay? I'll give you that. Please. One. All right. Uh, you have to answer did. in a form of a question. <laughs> I got too hyped that I didn't answer. All right, gentlemen, 2000s pop culture. <laughs> yes, for 100. Let's go. For 100. Gentlemen and ladies, this Washington, D.C. based political show won the Emmy for Best Drama in 2002. <laughs> yeah. What is the West Wing? That's correct. Oh, wow. Hey. Good All right. Good going into Final today. Jeopardy, the standings are Jordy, Good 100, T Bob, 600. Sam, 200. Wow. Oh my, oh, my God. I'm so nervous. <laughs> God. Wait, if you don't risk okay, it all, so wait, what's you yours? What's I have 100. Yours? Okay, what do you have? 200. So you can only risk what you have? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I'm right. only going to risk. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, yeah. Okay. Final Jeopardy. Liam Shanahan is LSU's newest transfer from Harvard, which Tiger quarterback was also a Harvard transfer. Wow. We're going to wow. go Jordy, <laughs> T-Bob, and Sam. Wow. Risk it all, baby! <laughs> you can't do it after the question. Risk this dude's cheating all. all day! No, I had already risked a guaranteed number that was yeah, going to let me win. $100, Danny Etling. Uh, no, that's, 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 not, that's, that's not, not correct. Right. Danny Etling didn't come from our I meant Andrew Hatch. <laughs> Andrew Hatch, yes, yes. <laughs> Never forget. You had I so one of the guy that used to drive me and Andrew Hatch, I risked it all I win. Uh thank you everybody. It's been a great win. I'm so happy right now. Finally, finally it feels so good. Anyway, think about this. This is how bad the quarterback situation was at LSU. Uh, my best friend from high school that used to drive me to school every day. He was older than me. He was at Harvard on the football team. Andrew Hatch was third string at Harvard, mm. and he showed up at LSU and he started at Auburn that fall. What do you think Andrew Hatch's reaction was on the road? We can kill the music now, Sam, after T-Bob cheated his way to Thank winner's you. circle. Thank you. Thank um, you. Finally got a win. Really and truly, what do you think Andrew Hatch's reaction was standing on an Auburn sideline thinking in pregame, I've got, I, I, I'm about to start this game as somebody who was at Harvard thinking I was coming to play for the defending national champs just to kind of have a hangout year, get a ring, sit behind Ryan Paraloo, some new freshman named Jarrett Lee. Let's see what happens. Next thing you know, he is starting at no. Auburn. They come, they call a a read option. Ooh. For Andrew Ooh, Hatch. bro. He caught a knee comes, to the, he caught a knee to the head. He comes down just... the line, and I mean an Auburn defensive end catches a body yeah. on Andrew Hatch. He looks as if he was shot. In the middle of the field, his body goes limp. His eyes go to the back of his head. He hits the field. I mean, that's why Jared Lee had to play. Yeah, that was uh, that was actually the game where Jared Lee was he, he uh, brought nas- back National Offensive Player of the Week. His first throw of the I remember this Lee's first pass of the game. They call a screen route to yeah, Keelan Williams, six. and it was a pick six because he, he like just kind of right like at the lobs end of half it in too. the air. Yeah, just kind of lobs it in the air, and I mean, this Auburn defensive back makes a play. Picks it off. Jordan Hare's going nuts. But still to this day, T, Jared Lee's best pass I ever saw him throw yeah. was in that game. Which one? It was the crossing route to LaFell yeah, on great. a third down where he stares down the barrel of a blitz and just steps up and shows off his – I mean, he got a cannon yeah. for an arm and puts it, I mean, right in LaFell's chest. Oh, here we go. Danny. Route. Who did he hit for the game? Was, was LaFell caught the game winner, well, but Chris but- Mitchell caught the, the – Chris Mitchell caught the... But Jarrett Lee wasn't the only person to throw a touchdown that game. Remember, one of the big touchdowns was Keelan Williams to on, Randall? like, uh, I can't remember who caught it, but it was, like, on... It was at a huge moment, had to have it, and it was, like, uh, we I think we called it, like, hobo pass. It was, whatever, it's basically, like, a sweet pass where Keelan Williams threw it. Uh, and, oh, man. Look at saying. Andrew. Hatch. Look, I'll say this about Hatch, though, dude, look, because... Look, I feel Whop. like... I feel like I sound like I was being very watch disparaging. When he watch when he gets up. Uh, he does get. He gets no, up and then hits the ground. He gets. Look, watch when he look, he gets up and he's like, <laughs> I don't know where I am. I wish I was back at Harvard. I didn't mean to come here and play. Get me off of this field now. Uh, I, I I will I will say this though. Um, Andrew Hatch was a great teammate. He was awesome, dude. Really good locker room guy. Look, look, look. look. And uh, <laughs> and honestly, I mean, oh, oh like. like 
a way better <laughs> athlete than than people realize and a better quarterback, but it's just that all this stuff is relative and when you go from Ryan Perilou to Hatch is going to be I mean, if, I mean me and me and Hester played that sh- that game on his show a few weeks ago where we just looked at Perilou's numbers in that 07 season and tried to project what could have been done in 08 and it would have been Oh, it's scary. Pretty fascinating. It's scary. I mean, I mean he, you take Perilou off that team. They had a great defense. Yeah. He had weapons everywhere. You're defending national champs. Um, and, you know, I mean, you take the best quarterback on the roster in Perilou, who well, was, the SEC say... MVP, was the SEC championship MVP just, you know, eight months earlier. Um, I had to the, take I, him off the team. I had the exact numbers, too, but it was something like the pick sixes uh, accounted for like 15 or 20% of the scoring that was given up on the year. So, yeah, it was just, just well, wild I mean, if numbers. You, if you recall, I mean, Alabama, who won the national championship that year, came in mm. with that squad and that LSU team with Lee, the true freshman starting quarterback, took him to overtime. Yeah. Now, with, Lee, picks, with pick sixes. Yeah, with, I mean, a pick six right before half. Yeah. <laughs> a brutal pick six right before half. And then the first play of overtime, yeah. he threw an interception in the end zone. That was Patrick Peterson versus Julio Jones, his true freshman in Tiger Stadium. That, uh, was, that was, it was good. Julio had a big catch on Pat, but Pat had his first, his first interception at, at LSU came in that game. Yeah, probably, probably, I think we buried the lead a bit, though, because this Auburn game is also where uh, your boy had a, 13 yard kick return. Yeah, and this, they called you uh, they called so, you the wrong name on the yeah, team. Yeah, they called me Kirsten Pittman. But that's we don't need to worry about that. 